Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It In The Cards Love Tarot reading for October 2023. This is a love reading for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So today I am going to do a love reading, but Wednesday I am going to have a money and career reading. So those of you who are interested in that, I would definitely hit the like button. That way YouTube will show you that reading. We're going to start off today with the Moonology Manifestation Oracle, and then we'll proceed into the rest of the reading. All right. What does Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to know about love? What guidance or advice do you have for Aries about love, please? All right, so we're going to take one of these and then we'll do uh, one of the angel uh, whispers of love. We'll do the whispers of love. I apologize. And we'll have the tarot. Then we'll have the angel answers. Okay, last quarter moon in Aries. Work through your feelings. So this is a message for somebody. If you have some old unfinished emotional business. This is guidance. This is what I would call an advice card. So I would definitely resonate. You know, I mean, there's, uh, I forget how many cards are in that deck, but we pulled out an Aries moon card. So that's important. Last quarter moon in Aries. All right, now we'll go to the whispers of love here. Okay, what advice do you have for Aries about love, please? Guidance for Aries about love. We've got here, slow down, pause and allow things to unfold. So for somebody here, I feel like these two are definitely related. There's something very important, an important message, okay, about allowing yourself to release any old feelings, anything that might be holding you back in terms of love and relationships. Now we're going to do the tarot here and we will draw three cards to represent your energy, three cards for the person you are attracting, three cards on the advice. All right, what advice do you have for Aries to attract the love of their lives into their lives, please? What does Aries need to know about love, please? Messages for Aries about love. Okay, now, if you are new here, I forgot to say I also post readings on Monday and Friday, all right? Your energy, the two of pentacles, death, and the four of swords. The person you are attracting is represented by the six of cups, the high priestess. I like that page of wands. You know I do. Your advice, you've got the ace of wands, the king of cups, and you've got the two of cups. Yes, it's in the cards. I'm already going to tell you that. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Now, for somebody here, though, if you are in a breakup, you do have reconciliation. They're trying to tell you that it is worth it. But whoever you're attracting here, we'll talk about them in a minute, but they have an absolutely intoxicating energy. I feel like whoever this is, they, they're very balanced in a lot of ways, but it's like truly a match for you. Somebody that will, you'll feel exhilarated being around them. So you've got this two of pentacles and it really reminds me of the oracle cards. It makes a lot of sense with those, that sort of two of pentacles juggling thing. And if you are saying, you know, you don't know how to let go of something or there's something about this that they're trying to tell you, it's time to go down deep, deep into your soul, deep into the core of your being and really look at some things and make a decision. Because with the death card, talk about letting go. There's something about this that's very important here. That death card is like the first day of the rest of your life. It is a rebirth, and he's walking across the wreckage of the past. That skeleton, your higher self, is telling you it's time to move forward. So if it's reconciliation, I do feel like they're giving you a pretty clear message that we got to let go of the bitterness, the hurt feelings, whatever's happened. Now, for some of you, if you say, I am just so angry, it may be time to look at, should this be, should you be having a reconciliation? Is that really the right thing? Because the death card says it's time to move on, that there's an ending but a new beginning. And so with that four of swords now, for some of you that would say, I'd rather touch the end of a hot poker than take that person back. There's no way I'm doing that. 
That Four of Swords is going to be very helpful. That's a break. It's getting back to center. It's also to reconnecting with really who you are, the essence of who you are. And so as you see relationships and people through the eyes of your source, of who you really are, you won't have that. You know, souls don't have resentment and anger and hurt feelings the way that the mind does. That's all the mind. And so I do feel like somebody here, you are doing a deep dive into the, the soul and understanding really who you are and how to move forward. So if you're the one that you're listening to a lot of podcasts, like spiritual type of podcasts, I definitely feel like it's it's benefiting you. And whoever you're bringing in is fantastic, by the way. Yeah, I did mention you have Scorpio water, you've got fire here, and you do have earth and air as well. So you have two twos, by the way. Twos actually have three with the high priestess. Th twos are about partnerships and relationships. So for some of you, like I said, you got somebody that's still hooked on you, no doubt about it. Now, in, and if you're saying there's an absolute no to any X, it also too, for some, it may be somebody that you've known before, you've met before with that energy of the Six of Cups, but the High Priestess is secrets being revealed. So I definitely feel like somebody here has a crush. Somebody's got a crush on you, Aries. And I feel like they're trying to play it cool. I feel like they, they're looking for the right opening, but I feel like once that door opens, you're gonna meet up with the Page of Wands and that is a good thing, okay? That page of wands is like somebody who their enthusiasm, their zest for life, their sense of adventure is contagious. You cannot have a bad day around this page of wands. It's truly impossible. So especially too, if you felt like in the past in relationships, you haven't been totally compatible with someone either intellectually or um, through their sense of humor, like there was a some, uh, some kind of a mismatch. I feel like this person... And, and truthfully, I, I mean, I personally feel like funny people are often intelligent. Intelligent people aren't always funny. Sometimes you can meet an intelligent person who's dry and kind of dull and they're just not that funny. But oftentimes I feel like funny, really hilarious people are also, those witty types of people are quite bright also. And that's what I feel like this person is. They're very creative and they love to take on new challenges. They love to take on new endeavors and they may do things on their own, like they may be somebody who enters like a, you know, triathlon or something, or they do things even too, they may even enter something like that without a lot of training. They're not afraid to jump right in. Um, but I do feel like too, they have a nice sense of autonomy and independence. So they're not needy and clingy. They're fun. But I also feel like too, with the six of cups, it's someone who's very trustworthy. And so I don't feel like you're going to have to worry about this person. And like, they seem great, but there's something about them that seems, you know, non-committal or flighty. I don't get that with the six of cups and truly with the high priestess too, that's being, you know, to thine own self be true. So this is not somebody who would get involved with you if they weren't serious about it. But I do feel like they sure are a lot of fun. So your advice here, you've got love here. You have a deep, meaningful, committed relationship. But with that Ace of Wands, that brings in the excitement and the passion and the chemistry. So I do feel like too, with the King of Cups, this person I mentioned, they I like their, their vibe. It's very Page of Wands to me. But I also feel like with the King of Cups, they have depth, okay? It's somebody who can commit and they can do it in a very meaningful way. I also feel like too, they don't take things too seriously, but they know when to be serious. And so I feel like this is going to be one of those relationships where you are swept away. Okay. And with the King of Cups too, that is about self-development as well. And so those of you that are trying to even understand yourselves even more than you already do, those of you that really want to get how you tick and what it is in relationships that will really run the distance for you, I feel like, boy, are you on the right path. So with that two of cups, you have a match. You have a soulmate energy coming in. You have a ride or die. You have the best friend where you are connected telepathically and energetically. Really, telepathy to me is just an energy, a very, very close energetic alignment. But I'm telling you what, you've got it and so do they. So with this, you yes, it's hell yes, it's in the cards. Let's see though. Um, and I will tell you too, if it is an X, I still feel like that energy alignment, that's also applies. Okay. It's somebody who uh, you are very much intertwined with energetically. All right. What else does Aries 
need to know about love, please. Messages for Aries, please. Advice for Aries. It's up to you, okay? So I'm telling you, you are that point of attraction. It is about some kind of a new beginning and transformation. So for some, it's not, it, it, for all of you, really, it's not same old, same old. It's it's up to you and it all begins with you. And some of you too, you may have people come along the way in the interim if you've been asked out or maybe this has been recently and you haven't been interested, I'd say that's okay because you have big happy changes coming in here. So those of you that have said, oh God, it was a too hasty, I, I don't feel so. I feel like you're going to have somebody else if you've been turning them away. Get more information. So with this too, you may have somebody who wants to have a discussion with you if you have not had communication or even if you haven't had, you haven't had really what you're looking for because it's in, in your side of the reading. Within the next few weeks, they say, and you've got, you've got to reconsider. So those of you too, I feel like you need, you're going to, you know, have to use your own free will to some extent. Um, but if you really made up your mind, it may be time either just to take a second look or start looking at new people too. I do get that for somebody. You've got a new beginning um, here as well. So I feel like, yes, it's definitely in the cards, but it's going to be up to you. Good things are on the way for you, Aries. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.